congratulations to the man who unmatched me the moment I told him I was a journalist. Keep it classy, middle America. Also, guess whose name I'm running through the court records tonight? Imagine being that petty that you look up somebody's possible criminal history just because you got unmatched on Tinder. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash nice girls because I was not expecting this to actually get the positive results from responses and all that jazz. So you know what, we keep doing it again. You know what the deal is. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below, be absolutely awesome and maybe make a new friend. And if you have not already subscribe turn on those notifications and uh, let's get to this if you like the video and leave a comment down below you will get an infinity stone it affects females more than males well it makes sense we get our hearts broken more than males that's because we have hearts but females get more affected so that means we have hearts kind of sexist males are just as capable of having emotions get out of that toxic mindset please Guys are completely capable of experiencing broken heart syndrome and just emotions in general. Just a lot of people tell dudes to like not show emotions and the whole man up thing kind of sucks. I doubt he had feelings in the first place. Men are like that, friend zoning anyone attainable and then wanting them when they are not. He never thought of her as a romantic partner until it became evident that she was interesting to other men. Shelly is good for him to break him out of his shell. I don't expect them to last, but she already broke Mia out of hers. She may do the same to Kay. This is over a webtoon. Also, speaking of webtoons, wait to go using that to try justifying your assumption for a whole lot of the population. Yes, I am a nice person, but if you cross the line too many times, everything can change very quickly. I lose faith automatically in anybody I see on Facebook sharing this, so it's been at least like four times. Not this one in particular, but just like I, I've unfriended people because they start posting this kind of stuff constantly and it's annoying. I can tell you that it, it really is annoying. Loser. God, I'm so glad I brought broke up with you. I, this is just weird with the ex finding your YouTube channel, like, at least mine is smart enough not to do that. My mom said, stick with the guy that loves you, not the guy you love, because the guy that loves you will go to the ends of the earth for you, but the guy you love will only love you on his terms. She always said a woman can grow to love, but a man either loves you from the start or doesn't. Uh, but aren't the healthiest relationship those which both people in the Berlin relationship work together to make it work? Never compare a man's cheating to a woman's cheating. A man will go out to F some woman and come back without any luggage, while a woman that does that is always going to be emotionally attached. And usually, a woman can't carry two emotional attachments at once, and so be prepared for a breakup. Cheating is cheating. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you got, it doesn't matter. Cheating is cheating, and uh, you're gonna get dragged in the comments section anyway. You don't want to know what the easiest way to avoid cheating is? Either you have common sense, or don't be in a relationship. So I'll leave that to you. Nice girls always finish the last. Shoulda known that. Um, because I didn't reply immediately? I've had a busy day. I don't deserve this ass man. I'm a nice girl, had pure intentions, and you just a CBA. Uh, what does CBA mean? I'm not exactly giving you S, am I? I've got a lot on, and this is another thing to consider. Well, stop considering it then. Not gonna be made out to be a psycho after you read my message messages eight hours ago? Basically, it sounds like I'm a burden to have to consider. I fully CBA with dating in this generation. <laughs> I've not touched my phone since leaving for work this morning. I shouldn't have to defend myself for that. Okay, so I looked up CBA and apparently Urban Dictionary says that it's a whole can't be arsed thing, which is like, you don't want to work. So the, what the what? what? Like, here's the thing, if you're talking to somebody, you don't have a job, but the other person does, don't get pissy if they're busy. Because, God forbid, unlike you, they have some obligations that they're supposed to do. Not looking for hookups. Not interested in stupid people. Uh, ironic that that's the first one. Fat guys. Liberals. Long hair. Anime freaks. Having children. Fruits. What did fruits do to you? Drinking and driving. Short guys. And religion. Well, I gotta say one thing for you. 
Good luck on Bumble, you know the app where you have to be the one to start the conversation in the event you get a match, but uh, I'm not gonna put money on that happening. I would like you to delete my husband now. Wait, are you talking to a hitman? I have no idea who you or your husband are. I have over 500 friends on my Facebook. Also, if he has a problem with me, why did he add me? I don't send out friend requests to people I haven't met in person, so he most definitely friend requested me and I add everyone who does that. I don't give given s how many friends you have delete him now uh, good for you and your 500 also also the controlling wife bit so not sexy if you're worried about him cheating then divorce him you deserve better but you're coming off like a jealous insecure karen again no idea who you or your husband are am i to delete all the male friends i have the frick i am far from that yeah right and you saying bolts far from the finish line but that's because he crossed it two days ago and he just kept on going. Why did he add me if it's such a problem? I don't know him. How am I supposed to delete someone when I don't know who they are? Also, why doesn't he just unfriend me? You accepted his request, W. I accept literally every request I get by default. Whatever. Who is your husband? But you accepted him. <laughs> Whatever. I accept everyone who sends me friend requests by default. It's fine. I'll ask him. You have a good night. You might be a bit too sensitive to be using social media. Have you considered sitting him down and telling him that adding girls makes you upset? I've actually been there myself with my last boyfriend. Maybe couples counseling? At this point, I wouldn't even bother replying. They're probably just gonna say whatever again. Why can't dudes nowadays treat women as if they were a queen? Like, bruh, dudes only want the pretty popular girls. Yeah, dudes treat women like a tree. They cut them down, and no one cares until they are gone. Like, dudes from the 80s treated women with respect. Now it's she a thought, or ew, she's ugly. Like, 80s men need to get together and take over social media for a week and show boys how to treat a girl. Ah, the good old, uh, I want respect, but I don't want to have to put any of that respect out in exchange. That's just a lovely character trait for anybody. Also, don't let anybody try calling yourself a king or a queen or whatever, when in reality, you were the court jester. You're just too stupid to realize it. At first, I thought it was just your depression. It wasn't until after you ended things that I really realized some of the comments you made, and I actually thought you were being mal- I uh, can't say that. I was so worried, and that's why I called you. Now I realize that it really isn't anything bad. You could have just told me. This entire time, all I wanted to do was help you. I would have pretended for everyone with you if that was what you needed. I'm glad you found someone you can be yourself with. I won't bother you again, but I'm here if you need anything. Okay, pipe blank. You know, handwritten letters are usually nice and all, but not when they're the only attempt to communicate with somebody that you have left after they block you on all social media. You know, maybe there might have been a sign or two along the way. Oh yeah, this one. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything but this. It sucks that guys like girls like this because she's pretty and ignore women like me who don't have the hair, the body, the teeth, the up-to-date outfits, but we have a good heart and soul, an intelligent mind, a good view on things, and not materialistic. We are so slept on. Sounds like you think you're not like other girls, but okay. Because I'm not. I'm a smart girl. I'm just ignored and misunderstood because of the way I look. Because I don't have the typical slim waist, thick blunt hairstyle, etc. You get the point. So you're saying other girls are dumb? You know, maybe before she posted her comment, she should have probably considered any reason partaking as to why the comment before her got 109 likes and hers only got two. Plus also, one thing I'm actually remembering is that a person can walk into the room and nobody automatically knows what their personality is. Yes. I am a nice person, but if you cross the line too many times, everything can change very quickly. Wasn't this the post from earlier? Also, wouldn't this be better if it was slapped onto a picture of the Joker? Cause like, seriously, come on, man. Sometimes, no matter how nice you are, how kind you are, how caring you are, how loving you are, it just isn't enough for some people. Ah, but the lovely thing of context does exist. Caption said, best friend, soon to be ex-wife, 
who was verbally abusive and cheated several times now looking for sympathy. Yeah, I hate people with a burning passion who are this type of person and then post this kind of stuff. Like, you can just ignore the fact that you did all these horrible things while trying to paint yourself as a saint on Facebook? Are you kidding me? I would have absolutely loved to see what the comments on this post would have been. Dude, I kinda got very pissed at him, bro. Why? What happened? I showed him all of those letters and he effing blocked me. I literally wrote a thousand letters and he had the audacity to block me. But why did you show him those? I told you not to. Bro, it's so heartbreaking that you do so much for someone and they don't even return your love. Dude, he's dating this person. I understand you feel hurt, but he can't just ditch her for you, right? Why the F not? I've known him for six years. Six effing years. I've loved him since middle school, and he never ever returned my love. Do you have any idea how much it hurts? I'm sure it does, but after a point, you gotta respect his decision. He's not interested, dude. Why are you taking his side? I swear to God, you all are fake. Okay, hold it. You know what? You are an effing creep. If a dude I've said no to a thousand effing times sent me a picture of letters he wrote to me about what he wants to do to me, I'd call the freaking police. What the frick? You're creepy as F. You're supposed to be my friend, blank. No, no matter how many times I tell you, you don't back off. You never listen to me. He constantly tells me how creepy you are. That's so unfair. No, what's unfair is that he said he's not interested a thousand times and you've sent him pictures of your breast that's creepy and unsolicited effing stop he effing told you? Yeah, just gonna put this out here right now. Your friends are your friends because you have a few interests that are in common and you get along well. It doesn't mean that you're a carbon copy of the same person. People can disagree on a few subjects and then still get along with each other perfectly fine. But also, just anybody in general, please do not send these photos of any kind in any way, shape, or form, whatever, because and expect to get anything out of that. And also, like, this whole thing, it, please do not expect to be able to just wait around and expect them to want to be with you. Could have been six years, it could have been 60 years. It, it doesn't mean they're going to want to hook up with you. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and to see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.